How's it going everyone? My name is Graham and welcome to Niche, a genetic survival game. Niche, niche, right off the bat. Don't know what to call it. I've heard it called both so many times and it's so frustrating to me. I feel like niche is how I prefer to say it. Niche makes you sound like a little bit pompous maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to do like a, a Twitter poll or something. i will be like, which way do you guys say it? And then maybe I'll attempt to say it the way that you guys would prefer to hear so that you're not, it's not just like nails on a chalkboard the whole time. Why isn't he saying niche? Why is he saying niche the whole time? It's fucking niche. I didn't expect to be so angry and aggressive right off the bat about a game that's about cute little cuddly critters. So this isn't the type of game that maybe I would normally do face cam for, but just today I got this new camera and Look at that! A proper pop filter for my mic, I'm not talking into a sock anymore. So I was excited about those things and decided that I would just dive into the world. Hmm, what can I name my world? Let's go with a, let's go with a classic, Butopia. It's a utopia of critter butts. Just, uh, apparently I'm a furry now, apparently I love butts of critters. So I was actually already interested in this game because my background is in biology and so any game that has to do with like evolution or biology or ecology or anything like that I'm like immediately interested in. That was why I played Taito Ecology. And Taito Ecology was more just like a simulator. This one seems like it's more of an actual game so I'm actually really interested in this one. Oh look at that! Look at them following my following my mice around. You can like really just fucking snap their necks around though. That's a little aggressive. Do I get to choose one of the two? Because I want to be the tiger guy if that's what's going on here. Adam and Eve. Okay, so these are my first two first two characters here. Okay, and I get to choose which way they're gonna move. Well, movement one, they bang. She is already pregnant. Okay then. Well, in that case. She's already pregnant. I was gonna follow it up with just have some good old-fashioned pregnancy sex, but not a thing. So you go forage for food. How do I... where's... Uh, so there is a number of moves here. Alright, I think in the bottom left there, it's showing maybe the amount of moves that I have. Well, if you're pregnant, you probably shouldn't be leaving your nest. I don't know why you're like a mammal type creature sitting in a nest, so I don't really know what good that does. What if you move out one? Okay, there's different things down here that are like changing how far an animal can move in one action and collection and there's all this stuff in the bottom here that I should uh, be aware of. Let me, let's see, how far can you see versus, well let's just run in there, let's just run on in. Alright, so I used up everyone's actions, now I'm guessing in the bottom right here this is the clock being run? Oh, maybe I had, I clicked it and so maybe that's how you end the turn. Why does this guy have one gimpy leg? I don't... Adam's got some uh, genetic defects right off the bat here, but he does have sweet saber tooth claws, so that's cool. There's some way to pass along that gene. I would like to do that. That was a nice big little hop. I don't want to go too far. What if I just go into this nest? It just, uh, just hang out in that nest instead. You just keep collecting food. I, it seems like I have a shitload of food, but I might as well just, I'm just gonna hoard it. I want all the food I can get. I don't want to starve. I don't really know how any of that's gonna work here. What is all of this? This is, this is all the genetic traits that I have? Can I like choose between them or something? I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit confused by that. The, oh, maybe so this is like, um... Is, is this actually playing around with like dominant and recessive traits? Because that's really cool. That's like the direction I wanted this game to be going in. I wanted it to like seriously delve into like proper genetics. Look, I pooped out a baby. Yeah, I wanted this to actually do proper genetics and so far it seems like that's what it's doing and that's fucking awesome. That's what I, that's like exactly the, the biology part of my brain. That's what I want to see. Okay, so I can just look. I don't have to go to these things. So let's just let's just uh, use this turn to just look around us. Now that we got a baby to be protecting, you can just cop some more food. Oh, and you can. So that's what it's saying here is where it's like, uh, one runner leg, one hind leg, one plus one hind leg. If I look at her, does she have? Yeah, okay, she has a normal body and two runner legs. I got this gimpy fucked up body. Oh, the little gems on your chest are how many moves you have left. That's a that's a handy little indicator. And so so he, he can he can't move quite as far. Moving multiple spaces uh, is only gonna use up one of your like turns or whatever if you have 
enough to be able to move that distance. Oh, oh, let me zoom out a little bit here. Holy shit, look at all of this. Look at this big old... Okay, it's not that big. <laughs> it's just not that big of an island. We're really going to have to grow up and learn how to swim if we want to get off this rock. Ooh, better be sure to keep an eye on that food supply because that's already already starting to wane away. All right, I want... Oh, fuck. Go protect us. Protect us, Adam. It's... Uh, oh, my God. What the fuck is going on with his googly cock eyes? Oh, He's got, you stay away from our pack, you got a gimp like googly cock eyes and fucked up teeth. You're, you're a genetic disaster, how do I just fucking kill it? Uh, Adam, use your, use your vicious gimpy claws to just destroy this guy, I don't, I don't want him anywhere near my pack. Alright, there's another fucking guy cruising around down there somewhere. Rhoda, can I, I can't control him, can I? Holy shit, I can control this guy? Why? That seems a little bit strange that suddenly this guy's just part of my pack. Except I guess that's going to be really useful for me because now I can start like looking at his genetics and seeing that this guy, let me look at his genetic tree, Rota. You got you got spit snout, normal eyes. I wouldn't I wouldn't call that shit normal. Are you calling that normal? Look at that googly cockeyed shit he's got going on. Uh, medium ears, regular body. Oh, but he's got uh He's got the recessive gene of blind eyes. Is am I reading that properly? Yeah. Let's uh, baby, baby and mama go. Uh, let's go gather some food here. That's gonna be that's gonna be helpful. And little baby Taku, little Taku. So let me see. No paw. What the shit is he? That's a recessive though, right? Oh, he ended up with uh, he ended up with a gimp paw though, I think. And he got a he got a big nose. Oh, does it look like her nose is bigger than his? I think it might be. All right, well you can go explore too, little man. And uh, who who's got moves left? No one. Let's just uh, let's just rest it up for the night then. <laughs> I, I thought for a second everyone just snapped attention to something that they like saw in the other direction there. What is that? What's over there? And then I realized that's just them, fucking, looking at my mouse. All right, mom, you keep you keep uh, collecting food here. We're gonna need a lot of that apparently. And you you go discover. What's who's rustling around down here? Mmm, food can wait. I want to discover this other person. Ah, oh, shit. Apparently, it's like getting away from me. All right, get some more food just to make sure we're safe on that frontier. Oh, did I? Oh, he only has he he, he can only do one thing in like a in like a day or whatever. Was oh no, mom is like diseased. Common cold. This animal's sick. Um. All right. You know what? You you gather food, and then I'm gonna get you away from here. I, I want you like away from everyone else. Ah. Oh, oh, hey there, little fellow. What's this? Who did I just find down here? Is that attack? I don't want to attack. I just want to look. I miss. Where'd it go? Ah, oh, he's back. Oh, I can't. I can't like interact with it. I guess I'll try and kill it next turn because I don't know what else to do with it. Um, food is remaining high priority for me. Oh, you you grew, did you? You can you get two moves in a turn now. Let's uh, let's just keep moving. I it's easier to cover ground if you just keep moving. No need to be like cautiously just peeking around corners and stuff. Just go for it. You're still sick, huh? Well, how about you just gather food in the meantime? Is this your this is your health maybe? What is this? Attack! And now. Now gather the food. That's uh, it's worth a, a decent amount of food. Not actually as much as I was hoping it would be. I thought, you know, it feels a little bit less worth it. Maybe I shouldn't have killed the the cute hyper cuddly creature then, if that's all I was gonna get out of it. Do I do I need to clear this grass? Like, okay, now that I've seen it, I can I can just run through it. I don't. I was wondering if I was gonna have to cautiously step through the grass the whole time. Oh, no, but now I'm closed off. That's only because it's in view of uh, of Adam here. So that's that's not working out super well for me either. There, there you are. Yes, I uh, I don't have enough. I wanted to sneak up on that shit and try and... Is there two of them? There's two in one spot? The little, the cute, cuddly mini bunnies are like conglomerating. This makes it all the easier to attack. All right, let me... Damn you. That wasn't. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that kind of trickery that they're just gonna run away from me. Oh, you're not sick anymore. All right. Well, you can you can go back to being useful then. Do you want to go bang this guy? 
<laughs> go bang this genetic disaster? That's a bad idea. I think I'm not gonna do that. Let's, uh, you guys can go looking for, like, proper mates. Because I don't, I don't think it's worth mucking around with that, those, those dumpster dogs over there. I don't want, I don't want you guys mixing that, that kind of, uh, that kind of grossness. Ooh, but I bet you inbreeding also, like, has a role in this game. I also don't want to be, like, inbreeding. You know what? Let's, let's pair these two up just to, like, see what happens. I might as well, right? Love each other. Love. It's been, like, three days since she squeezed out t Taku. Taku. <laughs> now she's just gonna be pregnant all over again? <laughs> they kind of purr a little. <laughs> it's kind of funny because they're, like, these weird dog squirrel... Oh, that's just because his leg is gimpy. That's not... He's not doing squirrel legs. They're kind of like... They're like wolves, but then they're kind of foxy, but then they like purr kind of like cats. And then they kind of like... They got these hind legs that kind of remind me of like rabbits a little bit. I don't know what these are. But they, they look kind of like maybe possibly a real-ish animal. What is this? Oh, but it's gonna hurt you to eat from the cactus. But did it grant a lot of food? I didn't actually see how much he, he got from that. I'm not sure how worth it it is. You go grabbing those. Ooh, look at all this food I'm raking in. I need to rake in a lot of food. I'm, I'm dipping through the supplies really quickly. I'm at 12. One day cycle, and I'm gonna dip down to... Oh, there's something near you, Taku. Ooh, Taku is pretty much fully grown, I think. Uh, let me see here. Oh, I can't look at that one. Hey there! Oh, it's just a little baby! Oh. Oh god, maybe it's not a little baby. It's, uh, more snaggly eyes and, like, what are all these, like, horrifically m monstrous versions of these critters running around everywhere? Normal eyes, spit snout, big body. I don't know what this game defines as normal eyes, but I don't think that this is... those look like normal eyes, really. Wait, are you pregnant? I don't understand. Oh wait, she's pregnant? Not old enough for mating. That's what the that's what the warning is here. Just uh just look at each other. Just become familiar. Start the courtship phase, how about? Come on, man, I want you to harvest that food over there. Whoa! I just take control of characters when I meet them, I guess. Okay. That's like uh, I just was not prepared for that. Everyone, everyone gather the food. I want to see how much damage you take and how much food you get. It just counts as one food, hey? Ooh, it does quite a bit of damage. That's okay, man. You're pretty fucking butt ugly. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna let you do your own thing there. Eve, I realize you're pregnant, but just, uh, just bear with us here. Just go run around and do your daily tasks. You just... You just do your thing, okay? You know what, guys? Next time, I'm going to pick this game back up again because this game is, like, exactly what I hoped it would be. It's that nice blend of, like, strategy where it's it's almost like uh, if you're doing a city builder game and you have to manage the resources for, like, gathering wood and feeding your farmers and, like, having enough water. And, like, it, it's, it's like a civilization management game but with, like, these creatures. But then you actually have to do, like, genetic diversity and mixing and everything. Which, uh, I'm struggling to think of another game that really has handled that well. There's things that have played around with it, like if I, I'm thinking of games like Rogue Legacy or Massive Chalice or whatever, where there's lineages where you might pass things on, but this, where the crux of the game is to actually play with the genetic diversity like that, I don't know if I've seen anything like that before, and it's something that I honestly have been like looking for. So I'm super excited about this game. I'm for sure going to be playing more of it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to debate between niche and niche. I'm voting niche.